And we back. There's a couple of Broncos over there. Yeah, I want to see that one with the 37s. We're going to pass by. I see 37s on this. Hi. <laughs> Go. Smoke up the ties. See how the kid likes it. Yeah. <laughs> Still don't know how to do it. Well, be safe, man. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Have a good one, man. Let's see these Broncos, bruh. <laughs> For all those off-road Oscars out there, we're gonna look at a couple of Jeeps, couple of couple of Broncos. <laughs> Sasquatch package. It comes from factory on 35s. Jeep made a similar build. Option from the factory. It's covered covered with warranty and all that, so that's pretty good. 35 inches. I think there's a 1.5 inch lift too. Let's see the other one. Bro, the other one's on 37s, bro. Nice little Jeep. I see this Jeep all the time. But look at this. Outer Banks, not even a Sasquatch package. Uh, they put 37s on it. I think there's a lift on this too. Oh, they just bought it. It's brand new, bruh. From Virginia. I like the gray color on that, bruh. That's nice. Tires are not beat up yet, though. We're gonna have to change that. That's a nice Bronco, bruh. Nice ass Bronco. Off road Oscars. I hope you guys like that. Let's see what else is there for all you off road Oscars. Jeep, there's a Defender. All right. I hope that uh, satisfied some of you off-road Oscars out there. I know some of y'all are off-road Oscars, so hope you guys enjoyed that. I like the Bronco though, but there was too much hype around it, you know? I'm impressed though. It's a very impressive vehicle. Oh, I saw a Ford GT. Oh my God. Oh my God. I saw a Ford GT just pass by. <laughs> Chase down that 4 GT. I don't know where it's going though. I'm gonna, gonna get lost, bruh. We're gonna get lost, boys. All for the sake of the 4 GT. Man, that is nice. Ferrari? Oh my god. It's a nice car, man. Is it limited? Is it a limited edition? Oh, okay. Very nice. Well, I like it. Good job. Have a good day, okay? Sahara edition? Bro, what do you say? Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Shit. I don't know if I can fit there, bruh. Man, what you doing? Where the fuck is he, bro? Oh my god, this guy. This guy didn't even want to say hi to me, bruh. That was an R1. Bro, where'd he go? Oh, he's all the way up there, bruh. There's no way I'm catching him. There's no shot. Yeah, I don't know where he went, bro. He's gone. 
Nice little Roush truck. Hey, little Grom boy. Yeah, yeah, bro. Where is he? Where the fuck? Bro, everyone's just ditching me today. What? <laughs> Everyone just don't want to say hi, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Where the fuck did that? That was a little gram. I think. I don't know, bro. Tesla bro, these Teslas are fast as fuck bro, what? <laughs> oh my god. I know how fast those things are. Oh my god, it's a little bit chilly out today. We are heading over to one of my subscribers today. What are you crazy fucks? She's learning on a 636 as well and you know I wanna see I wanna see this bike because it's a it's a different colorway. It's actually the colorway that I would have gotten if I had just pulled the trigger the first time. It was at the dealership, but I didn't because I got cold feet. But she has the colorway that I fell in love with at the dealership actually uh, at first i was like man i don't know about this but after seeing it in person it's it's pretty fucking dope so she has it she's starting on it we're gonna do some parking lot work today so i can't wait to meet her uh yeah guys if you guys are in the area hit me up it's fun driving these roads though this is a two-lane road this used to be the road that i would take to school and there would be so much traffic here sometimes that I could write a whole, I actually did write a whole essay with references on my way to school because this is only a two lane so you can't really pass obviously when there's traffic so a little stroll down memory lane. This is so much safer bro. To just lane split like this, oh my god. <laughs> Man, even the roads here suck. Look at this. It's so nice and peaceful. There's so much air. There is so much air, bruh. My lungs are just overfilled with air from all these trees. Bro, what is going on, bruh? Oh, here we go, baby. Here we go, baby. Here we go, baby. Baby! Let's go! I don't know this road too much, so I don't wanna I don't wanna rip it, you know what I mean? Man, what road is this? Bro, look at this. Oh, I went the wrong way. Fuck! Dip, dip, dip. Oh my god, that was a dip. <laughs> Whoops. They weren't kidding when they said dip. <laughs> oh god, bro. Woo! There it is! Uh, hello oh my god this bike is crazy hi 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 how are you Good. oh my god i yeah so this bike this bike i saw it on the at the dealership when i was buying the 636 yeah. and i fell in love with this color really? I like the matte blue. yeah yeah it looks so dope in the sun too 
Oh my god. Are these the scratches from when you dropped it? Yeah. It's oh, I see. Not that bad. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not that bad. I didn't even notice it. I thought it was just kind of like dirt. But man, this color is awesome. Alright, you ready? Uh, yeah, I was warming it up a little. I was eating oh, okay, okay. What's that? Sorry, I have earplugs in. What's she say? Oh, <laughs> said I was eating a snack before. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I might actually eat something while, uh, when we go to the parking lot. Like a little, I think I have like a protein bar or something. Is that your Jeep? Yeah. That's dope. Dang. That is dope. It's like my fourth one. Is this a, is that a 4 xe Yeah. Wow, how do you like it? Um, it's not bad for like their first one they've made. So uh-huh. But it's no, pretty good. There's no problems or anything, right? Okay, okay. I have a, well, it's not a 4XC, but I have a, I have a Rubicon. Yeah. And uh, the miles per gallon is like 13. <laughs> yeah, it's so bad. Yeah, I mean, I love it. It has like the 35s from the factory, uh -huh. so it's pretty cool. I love the Jeep, but it's just a gus gas guzzler. That's why I bought a bike. <laughs> but then this is a money pit too. I'll take your time. I'll follow you, okay? Okay. Ah, uh, she's cool. Her name is Katrina, one of my subs, and she has all the gear that I have. <laughs> she has a 636, she has a Sedici helmet as well. Cool people, cool people. I'm here for moral support, uh, she needs to, I think she said she wants to try to practice like taking off and stuff. So, we're gonna do that. She's a super squid, can you see from the mirror? <laughs> She's not wearing anything, just uh, a sweatshirt and shit. Ooh, her bike is awesome. Wow, she looks sick on that thing. Ah, oh, she's doing good though. She's doing really good. good for I don't even know how long she's been riding let's ask I'm gonna ask bro oh my helmet's not strapped <laughs> a six kitty six kitty cat I think her Instagram is pop up the Instagram right now she's a crazy fuck starting on a 636 but uh, one of my subscribers I'm so happy I uh, get to ride with her as well because and show her what this community is all about, you know? And one of my bad habits, oh my God, this road is crazy. <laughs> one of my bad habits is uh, staying in first for so long. You guys are ripping me apart in the comments. I'm sorry, guys, I won first, it's so funky. Oh my God, this, this road is so bumpy. <laughs> you're good, you're good. Yeah. Up. I'm putting a lot of weight on my wrist, which guys you shouldn't be doing. Oh, this is a wide parking. Holy shit! Wow. How long have you been riding? A month. A month? A month. Wow. I'm impressed. Good job. I'm, I'm looking at you shifting. I was like, damn, well, she might be better than me at a month. <laughs> Even just before at that last light, I uh -huh. was like, I think I got it, and then I stalled. Yeah. <laughs> I like, I get it. No, it's okay. It ha happens to me all the time. So with the with the clutch, I don't. Well, you're probably like a little bit new at this, but I only use two fingers. Oh, okay. Yeah, because if you use two fingers, right? Yeah. Your ring finger is going to stop uh -huh. all that like empty space. You know what I mean? No. Let's so look. If you if you do all four fingers, right? Yeah. It's gonna go all the way in and your friction zone is like up here. Yeah, it's far, right? Yeah, it's yeah. far. So when I when I do like two fingers, right? Yeah. It stops right here and my friction zone is already over here. Oh. You know what I mean? I see. So it kinda gets rid of all of that like dead zone. Right. You know? Like I guess because there's like one less finger. Yeah, and your ring finger is there. Yeah, exactly. And the, the, there's like w your ring finger to stop it. Yeah. Because this is all dead zone too. So yeah, if you do yeah. use four fingers, it's going to go all the way in. So it's kind of just like a game of like millimeters pretty much. Yeah. 
that's that's what I do. But obviously, do what you're comfortable with. A lot of people do the four fingers, oh, yeah. but for me, like especially when you're doing slow maneuvers, it's good to have the friction zone right there mm -hmm. instead of playing around with like this much space of like nothing, you know. Mm -hmm. So I still have the stock lever. Uh, for my lever, though, I I pulled it all the way out because my hands are a little bit bigger. Oh. But I think I think at four you should be okay. But yeah, try that out uh, and see. We're gonna do a little exercise because what she's having trouble with is starting from a stop. So we're gonna do a little exercise that hey, hey there. Um, that's um, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You ever see that? She hasn't stalled yet, so she's she's been acing this. We're gonna give her a little bit of pressure. You want me to red light, green light? Okay. This is stop, and then this is go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, my fucking ankle hurts from. <laughs> I just came back from Comic Con. All right, do the red light, green light. Ready? <laughs> the pressure. The pressure. Katrina, take your time. Okay. Beautiful scenery out. Yeah. Very nice. Alright, stop. She's doing good. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, good job. Alright, let me run to the other side. I feel like I need my bike for this. <laughs> nice, nice. Alright, one more. Good. Good job. It's still tough, right? But you're getting the hang of it. Yeah. You're getting the hang of it. Okay, that's good. Whenever you have time, come out here and practice like your slow speeds because it'll it'll give you more discipline with the clutch. It'll teach you that it's okay to ride the clutch and not let go as soon as you start moving. Since this is a nice parking lot, let me uh <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. How far is it coming up? Like pretty high. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like almost like a foot. Really? Yeah. It doesn't feel like it. And that's why I'm so scared because I don't know how far I'm getting off the ground. Yeah. So if you don't practice for like a couple days, yeah. you kind of regress, right? Yeah. And that's so true with uh with wheelies because it's scary. Just dumping the clutch like that, you know. Oh God, yeah, it gets uh, it gets tiring to do that. So next month, that's all you, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I wish I like started riding Early. earlier. Yeah, yeah. I, know. I wish I was like, I wish like I didn't do this during like COVID or something. I mean, who knows if I could have gotten a bike during COVID? Like, yeah, yeah. I feel like you should have. But like, it's crazy that you're starting at six thirty-six. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, nuts. That's Is it? Wait, yeah. So what? What made you get the six thirty-six? The R6. Three or the R6. And then, like, I was going to, like, Cycle Gear to get, like, just the basic stuff for the MSF course. Uh huh. And the kids, like, get the R6. So I was looking at those, and then I was looking at the Ninja 400. And then, honestly, I wasn't even looking at this bike, but I was also looking at the Ninja 600. Six, yeah, the 650. Yeah, 650. yeah, yeah. And, um, but I don't know. So, I, like, the problem was, like, nobody had anything in stock. So yeah. Like, Wait, really? Yeah, like, Holy shit. I kept calling, I kept emailing, I'm like, do you even have this in stock? Because like, I'm not going to drive to all these places if they don't even have the bike I want to see. And all right. So, like, I got there and the guy was like, oh, um, what? Oh, it was a dealership in the South Shore that said they had one of these bikes. Uh-huh. And if I wanted to look at it. Yeah. And I was like, all right, well, I can either go to the South Shore or go to the Bronx, but the Bronx had more inventory, so I went there with my friend. Uh-huh. And uh, the guy, the salesman is like, what bike are you into? And I'm like, so I told him. And he's like, are you scared? And I'm like, scared of what? <laughs> and he's like, of riding. And I was like, no, not really. And he's like, he's like, so you're fearless. And I'm like, I guess. Yeah. And he's like, so he showed me this bike. Uh-huh. And they had it in this color and that gray and red and blue. Yeah, the graphite. Yeah, yeah I like that color cool. as well. Yeah. So, like, I sat on it. Like, it felt good. Like, and he's like, now go sit on the 400. So I go sat on the 400. And I was like, this thing feels like a peewee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he's like, yeah. He's like, I don't think you would look good on this one. And was it before, was it before your MSF course you went out or after? 
Um, it was like mixed. So oh, okay. I looked a little bit in the beginning. Uh huh. And then like, I actually went out and like did more serious looking. After. after. Okay, got it, got it. Okay. But yeah, so like I was there with my friend, and I, he's like, he's like, so what do you think? And I'm like, well, what do you think? Yeah. And he's like, like him and I were both on the same page. I was like, I'd rather spend the extra bucks and get like a bigger bike that yeah. I can just keep for a longer amount Ex- of time. That's exactly what I was saying. And then someone who I keep hearing that's like 400s or less than that. Yeah. And they turned it in after like three years. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what my thought process was because I was also looking at 400s, but I was like, and then the uh, the the dealer. So I got it actually. Is your key off? Your key's off, right? Yeah. Um, the dealer he was like, yeah, people sell their 400s after like six months, and I'm like, I'm gonna lose money like right off the bat, you know. So that's why I started on this thing. So. Yeah, that sucked. I was so scared. Because, like, I learned on a Grom. And a Grom is, like, t- t- half yeah, the size of this, good. right? So, uh, yeah, that, that video, that was scary as shit. I was like, if I drop this... And, obviously, like, I signed papers and everything. Like, I paid, I, paid, I paid for it. And it's just like, damn. Like, if I drop this, I'm fucked. <laughs> but I ended up dropping it. The, the bottom fairing is still fucked. Alright, well, we just got out of practice. Practicing those slow ass maneuvers. Trina was practicing some start from a stops. And she got she got a lot better. I think that was a very successful day. So guys, you know what time it is. You know where I'm going. Right? Right? Y'all 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 know? <laughs> oh man, it's a beautiful day to ride though. It's such a nice day out. Katrina's cool people though. And she, I think, is doing better than I am for a month, bro. Like, what? This girl's fearless. Wow, that C8 was crazy. I'll see that. Man. Look at the view here, bro. It's just crazy. Arcade of amusements. Yeah, this place is fucking awesome. Look at that. That's pretty fucking cool. Pretty fucking cool. Man, this road is so bumpy. I don't know, guys. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I'm like flying off my seat, bro. Do you need help putting in the garage? Okay. You're good. Yeah. It okay. Takes me a little while. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, do you have to turn it around and back it up? Do it. Let's just do it real quick. Unless you want to like watch. No, 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 no. I think people who do that kickstand thing is crazy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, your kickstand's going to hate you. I know. You know? So you just back it up? Yeah. I'll show you how I back it up. No, look. Where does it go, though? Um, I park it. In here? Yeah, like right here. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, good job. Yeah, see? Easy. Good riding today. Yeah, I'll text you, okay? Yeah. Okay. Have a good day. It's now the next day. A little recap of yesterday. We met up with Katrina, who is a subscriber. <coughs> Some of you subscribers are crazy fucks, man. That girl is starting on a 636. Her bike is awesome. I love the blue. 636. I think hers is a 22 as well. But it was good to meet a subscriber like that, you know what I'm saying? So if y'all are subbing in Long Island, hit me up on Medusa Moto. We'll meet up. Meet up and ride a little bit. But that was the first time I've ever ridden with a 636. So it's it's nice to be nice to start up a 636 gang in Long Island. Not a gang, but you know. You know what I mean. It is fucking freezing. Wanted to recap a little bit of the other day. I went to Comic Con and uh, shit was shit was lit. Uh, I'm a little bit of a weeb. Is that an Extreme Recon, bro? The Jeep Extreme Recon in the deep red. Very nice. But anyway, Comic Con was fun. A lot of cosplayers. Uh, I think I'm getting sick, bro, because it's so fucking cold. Comic Con was sick. A lot of cosplayers. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to take a picture with any cosplayers because I'm stupid. For all of you that are riding in the in the cold, make sure your tires are fucking warm, bro. Because if you don't, 
Yeah, those wheels are just gonna slip right out from under you when you're leaning. So make sure your tires are nice and warm before you do any stupid shit, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, stupid me did not take any pictures with cosplayers. Some of their costumes are sick though. And I know, I know some of them have been working on that for, for years now. So it's good to see everyone's hard work. But I was more in it for the art. All of the comic book artists there were very talented people, man. Holy shit. Uh, I got a couple of art pieces. This one's from uh, Damon Bowie. John Wick with the, with the dog in front. Kind of like a Scarface vibe. I will link his artwork below. Uh, but anyway, that was Comic-Con. Really fun stuff. Only went one day, but my ankle is killing me from all the walking, bro. Yeah, anyway, guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed getting one of our subs and a little Comic-Con recap. If you like the content, like and subscribe. If you're new here, welcome, you crazy fuck. And, you know, as always, I will see y'all in the next one. Alright?